going on, everyone? Giant opinions. The White Sox fire sale continues because they're sending Kendall Graveman to the Houston Astros. And in exchange, the White Sox are getting Corey Lee, the fifth-ranked prospect in the Astros farm system catcher. Uh, so let's start off with what the Astros are getting Kendall Graveman. Graveman, over the past five years, has turned into, a, in my opinion, a good relief pitcher, but more so middle of the pack. Now, it's not like he's pitching with a sub-2 ERA. There was that one, like, half season in Seattle before he actually got traded to the Astros, where he was pitching sub-1 ERA, which is insane. But his e Kendall Graveman's ERA usually hovers around the 3 area, which is, it's good for a reliever. And the thing is, he's not a closer. That's the thing. Kendall Graveman will not be closing games. He's a very good middle reliever, say, in the 7th or 8th inning. But in Chicago, he was sort of forced to be that ninth and 8th inning guy sometimes, which to be frank, is not really where he thrives. But I th he can eat up innings because he actually came up as a starter in the big league. So he has that. He can pitch more than just one inning. So he's like a middle relief guy. He's got some good stuff. His savant page, it's above average, definitely. There's more red than there is um, blue. I mean, I don't really rely on savant for everything. But Kendall Graveman, he's been in the league for a while. Seasoned veteran. Was on that Astros team that won the World Series in 2021 too. So who knows what will happen there. And he also has an extra year of team control. That's kind of the rumors why the Astros traded for him was because that he they're going to get him for this season and next season too because I'm pretty sure three of their top relievers are actually going to be free agents after the season. Pretty sure Hector Neris is one of them. I don't remember the rest. So from the Astros, I mean, they're upgrading the bullpen and you got to have a great bullpen come playoff time. I cannot stress that enough. Bullpen matters so freaking much come playoff time and... Any team that goes and tries to add relief pitching, I think they're always doing the right thing, even if it doesn't end up working out, because that's really the recipe to success. Now for the White Sox, Corey Lee, he was, I'm pretty sure at one point he was once a top 100 prospect, actually. Fifth ranked in the Astros system. He got called up last season. Didn't do too well for them. Batted 160, OPS below 500, but don't panic yet. He's still relatively young, and if you look at um, if you look at Corey Lee's actually AAA stats from last year, 238 batting average. So he's not really going to hit for average too much. Funny enough, though, in, two, in 2023, he's actually hitting like 50 points higher. But 2022, he basically had 25 home runs, 76 RBIs. This season, he's batting 283 compared to 238 from last season. And his OPS is lower, though. His slugging is lower. So he's more hitting for contact than power, which is, is it's okay. But my main problem with Corey Lee, he needs to have some discipline at the plate. Strikes out way too much. He's a good fielder. He is a very good fielder or defensive catcher, I guess. I don't know why I'm saying good fielder. He's a good defensive catcher for sure. He's not the slowest in the world. He's got power. I mean, you could see it. 25 home runs in AAA. That's pretty good. There's a reason he got called up, and it's actually because of that. But he really has to lay off of striking out. It's too much. It's a big, big problem. Um, but other than that, I mean, he, he has an okay bat when he does get the bat on the ball, but when he doesn't, he's kind of swinging away outside of the zone. And to be honest, the White Sox do not need that. They really don't. So I find it interesting because I think Corey Lee is a good prospect, but for the White Sox specifically who have shown an inability to develop players, it's a little bit concerning. But I mean, if you could also think about it this way, the White Sox, uh, they traded for another catcher and the, um in the Lucas Giolito trade. Well, if he doesn't work out, here we go, Corey Lee. So they're kind of they're kind of mixing it up. And maybe Osmani Grandal could be on the move because of this. So let me know what you think about this. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.